Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Serena from Makeup by Serena27 and today it is my birthday so I thought I'd do a little birthday get ready with me. By the time you're watching this it won't be my birthday but I thought I'd show you my outfit, my hair and my makeup for the day. Before we get on with this video please be sure to subscribe, like this video and share it with your friends and also comment down below future videos you want to see because I will be posting on here a lot more and I will be posting on my Instagram more frequently because of this coronavirus going on so we can't exactly go anywhere or do anything so I have so much more time on my hands. So without further ado, let's just hop on into this video. So first things first, I'm going to do brows. Because the brow shop was closed, I had to like pluck them myself. So I've done a pretty decent job I think, but we'll see once I try filling them in if it's going to be hard or not. So I'm going to fill them in off camera and I will be back. If you want to know how I do my brows, I have a brow tutorial on my channel already. The video is a couple months old, but I literally do it the exact same way. So just check out the brow video and I will be back in a sec. Okay guys, brows are on. Today, because I can't really see anyone, I can't see any of my friends or anything, can't see any of my family, and we all have to like stay inside. I'm just going to be doing my basic everyday makeup routine. I think this is a little bit different to the one I did when I first started my channel. I think it's changed slightly, but it's not too much difference. But this is the makeup I do when I decide I want to make more effort. So brows are on. They are the first thing I do always in case I muck them up. I go over them sometimes when I put foundation on because they can go lighter. But because I highlighted and slash dyed my hair lighter yesterday with my roots, when I put foundation on it will probably look fine because I had really dark roots before but now they're quite light now. So the next step after brows, I always do a primer. My foundation always looks better when I put primer on. When I don't do primer, my foundation always looks worse and like more patchy and dry. So I always try to put primer on. This is my all time favorite primer. It's by Collection Cosmetics. It is the Primed and Ready Illuminating Primer. And I absolutely love it, you guys. It gives you a really nice shine under your foundation. It makes your foundation look really nice as well, which is what I really like about it. So I always just put one dot on each cheek, on my forehead, and then on my chin. I never put a dot on my nose because my foundation always wears off my nose if I put too much primer on it. So I kind of just like, when I'm blending all of this in it, I'll go over it lightly. But I try and avoid my nose area because my foundation always comes off in that area. If I put primer over it. And it always looks patchy when I put primer on over my nose. And then put foundation on top. So I always try and avoid that. And it gives you a nice shine, like, and a nice natural glow to your skin as well, which I really like about it. The next step in my routine is foundation. I have been loving the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Foundation. It says it's full coverage. I don't think it's full coverage unless you build it up, but you have to put quite a fair bit of foundation on for it to be full coverage. But if I find if I put too much on and then I go a bit orange because it's slightly too dark for me. I usually just go in and pump it all around my face and just do like a dot here, there and everywhere because I hate putting it on my hand and then splodging it over my face. I don't know why. And then I just do like dots in the places and then if I want it like more full coverage when I blend it out then I will apply some more foundation on. I have found with this foundation that because you need quite a fair bit of it, like it can go a little patchy in places. I tend to just blend out my foundation with a beauty blender. I really like the finish that a beauty blender gives compared to a brush. And because I have dry skin, I feel like it makes, I don't know, just make sure my foundation isn't too dry all over me, which I really like. Isn't like too dry looking, I was supposed to, I meant to say. So that is one layer of the foundation done. Because it's quite, orange looking. Um, I'm going to take the Rimmel Lasting Finish Breathable Foundation and I'm going to dot it with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. I'm just going to do this lightly, I'm not going to go crazy or anything. Yeah, this is the same shade as the foundation I've got on. I did not realise that, otherwise I would have just gone in with the other one. And then I'm just going to take the lighter one and kind of use it as a concealer as well. And I'm just gonna bounce that in with my beauty blender. I'm also gonna 
blend this down my neck a bit as well so then there isn't any lines or orange hanging about. Now I'm going to take this big foundation blending brush, this is from Primark, and I'm just going to go over my foundation and make sure it's all blended in. Okay, so after foundation I am going to go in with powder. A powder I have been loving at the moment is the Maybelline Fit Me powder. It's really nice and it goes really well with the foundation as well. So I always take my powder on a flat foundation brush. I feel like when I do this, I can get into all the nitty gritty bits. And like I can use this as well to blend out my foundation if there's like any patches that still need blending. And yeah, I just whack this absolutely everywhere on my face. Like so. Okay, after powder, I go in with bronzer. So I am going to take my all time favourite bronzer. It is in the palette by LMX Beauty Turn Up the Base palette. It is the lightest bronzer in it. I would show you guys, but the pan is like kind of like cracked because of how much I've used it and I don't want anything to pour out. But yeah, I'm going to take the two lighter bronzers and then just bronze up my face with that. I'm going to take this on a angled contour brush. I'm not going to go too heavy with it. I apply my bronzer on my cheekbones and I also focus it on my forehead as well. I'm mainly focusing on the outer corners of my forehead, but then I literally just end up whacking it absolutely everywhere and go mad with it. And then I use the excess just to do the jawline and then like blend it down my neck a bit, so then it all blends in. Then I take a big fluffy angled brush and really go in there. And blend it out. Okay, I also take the bronzer on a slightly bigger eyeshadow blending brush and literally just put the bronzer all over my eyelid so then it kind of blends in and gives like a natural sort of look to your makeup. So I literally take the same shades as what I use for the bronzer and literally just go over the whole lid and just blend it out in the crease and then drag it down. And I also whack this on the lower lash line. And that kind of like sets the foundation and concealer under my eyes as well because this foundation does crease under the eyes quite badly, I think. Or it has such like, not wrinkly, but like, yeah, I, it's kind of like a wrinkly effect eyelids. I have like quite wrinkly eyelids. So my foundation under my eye always creases. I don't think it's foundation, I think it's just my skin. Okay, now I just go in with mascara. So today I'm going to be using the Soap & Glory Thick & Fast High Definition Mascara. This is just the best mascara that I've got at the moment. So I'm just gonna go in with this. I like my lashes like really long, so I put on quite a fair bit of mascara. For highlighter today, I'm going to be using the I Heart Revolution Gold Elixir, I think it's called palette, and it is a palette that I got in a set for Christmas. And I'm just using the silvery shade, and I'm just gonna take that on my cheekbones. You don't need a lot of this product, a little goes a very long way, as you can see. I like to take highlighter on my two cheek high cheekbones and then I put it on my nose and then just like rub my nose and then I take it on my forehead slightly on my cupid's bow and then just lightly on my chin and then I blend it out with the same big fluffy brush that I blend out my bronzer with just lightly so then it's more of a natural highlight. Okay so the last step is lips. Like I said, I'm not going anywhere, no one's seeing me, so I'm not gonna go too crazy with the lipstick or anything. I wanna keep this look quite simplistic and natural. So I'm just gonna go in with a gloss, I think. I have been loving this I Heart Revolution lip gloss thing at the moment. It is the Marshmallow Lip Gloss, and I just whack this on with my everyday makeup. It's a very natural light pink lip gloss which I really like about it and then I just top it up throughout the day. And 
that is the makeup complete for my birthday makeup today. So I will show you guys the outfit that I've just picked out. So it is this dungarees dress, sort of like tweed dress thing. It is from Shein and I've paired it with this blacky brown. I can't really tell the colour, but it's like it looks black and in some lights it looks brown. And it's a high neck. Um, top that I got from Primark it was in a sale for like three pounds and I paired it with some tights I will spin you around and show you in the mirror please excuse my room it's an absolute mess but this is the outfit this is the dungarees tweed dress paired with the long sleeved high neck Primark bodysuit and I've just paired it with some black tights and I'll probably just wear bands with it so I'll zoom you in so you can see closer this was like really big for me so I took it up I know I think I've taken it up like a bit too far but I like the length of it so I'm just gonna leave it really love like dungarees sort of dresses on me so yeah this is my outfit for today so next is hair so I'm gonna take this band off and as you can see, the roots of my hair need re-straightening. So I'm going to plug the straighteners in and I'm going to re-straighten my hair. The straighteners are ready. I'm just taking these straighteners. These are just GHD straighteners. And I'm just going to re-straighten my hair. My hair is naturally curly, but when I like dyed it yesterday, I straightened it so I could see like how light it was and just to see if I wanted to go any lighter but I'm not 100% sure if I want to yet. I'm just going to go over this lightly and then I will come back to you because my camera is about to die. And my hair is now all straightened, I think. So that is the full get ready with me for my birthday. I mean, I can't go anywhere, but it's just nice to feel good on your birthday as well. I hope you enjoyed this video please be sure to subscribe like this video and share it with your friends and also comment down below videos you want to see on my channel because I want to start uploading really regularly and like more than once a week because I have so much time off from school and I have so much more free time now so I really want to be able to start uploading on my YouTube so much more and just getting back into the routine a bit also follow my Instagram for more makeup tutorials and I will see you guys in my next video but yeah Thank you so much for watching, goodbye!